Elizabeth II has granted a total 4% pay rise and an extra day of holiday to some of her employees as a thank you for their hard work during the past busy months, with one royal source hoping this bonus will lift the spirits of royal workers who lost most of their perks. The Queen has given members of the staff working at her royal palaces who earn under £56,375 a hefty bonus and an extra day of paid holiday, Buckingham Palace confirmed. This means that members of the staff including valets, footmen, gardeners, and housemaids, who have traditionally been given a yearly wage lower than £50,000, will receive a 1.5% cost of living increase and a day of holiday. And employees who have stunned their employers with their work performances, will be given a further 2.5% raise. This bonus comes after the royal staff at Buckingham Palace, Holyrood Palace, and Windsor Castle had to work to prepare the palaces for three royal weddings, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, Princess Eugenie, and Jack Brooksbank and Lady Gabriella Windsor and Thomas Kingston. Windsor Castle also played a central role during the first months of Archie Harris in Mountbatten Windsor, the son of Meghan and Harry. The baby was introduced to the world on May 8, two days after his birth, with a photo call held by the Sussexes at Windsor Castle St. George's Hall. Two months later, Archie was christened at a chapel on the grounds of Windsor Castle. And in June, Buckingham Palace's staff had to work in full force to welcome U.S. President Donald Trump and host the state banquet. This thank you raise from the monarch has pleased the royal workers, according to one insider. They told, the staff are cock -a hoop it's the best rise we've had in years. For too long the courtiers have relied on loyalty and the fact the staff love the Queen and have such respect for her. But they've lost a lot of the perks that used to compensate for such low pay and people have been struggling, so this will really help. Staff used to get all sorts of perks written in their contracts. There were free rooms, free soap, and they were even allowed to finish up the dregs of wine and spirits left over from state banquets. However, the mood switched at the palaces, the source continued, with perks being cut and a different atmosphere dominating the palaces. They said, but it's all been stopped. The feel-good factor went and there had been an air of despondency among staff, but at last this rise has lifted everyone up. The 4% raise has been deemed impressive by Mirror Online's money editor James Andrews. But he warned the minimum 1.5% increase is well below inflation level. He said, it's good to see the Queen digging into her pocket to help her hard-working staff, especially with an extra day's holiday. The 4% rise is almost double the increase in the cost of living, as well as beating the average pay ruse in June of 3.7%. That said, the full rise is based on having a positive performance review, and staff that don't achieve that mark will get just 1.5%, well below inflation, even after you include the effect of an extra day's holiday. Earlier this month, the Queen was looking to hire an exceptional gardener, for a yearly salary starting at £22,000. And she is looking for six more people to fill different vacancies, according to the Royal Household's website. Among the job advertised, there is the position of retail assistant, warden, head of visitor services and security officer. The Queen's staff are set to receive a bumper 4% pay rise as a reward for their hard work over the past year. Royal servants will also be granted an additional day of holiday as a thank you for the extra effort that went into hosting two royal weddings and the state visit of US President Donald Trump. Prince Harry married US actress Meghan Markle on May 19 last year, while Princess Eugenie wed wine merchant Jack Brooksbank on October 12. Earlier this year Donald Trump and First Lady Melania spent three days in the UK between June 3rd and 5. Staff are apparently cock -a hoop at the news, with the Royal Insider claiming it's the best rise they've had in years. For too long the courtiers have relied on loyalty and the fact the staff love the Queen and have such respect for her, a source told The Sun. But they've lost a lot of the perks that used to compensate for such low pay and people have been struggling, so this will really help. A memo issued to royal staff working at Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle, Balmoral, and Sandringham said those earning under £56,375 will be eligible for the rise, 
which will be backdated to April. It's set to benefit 400 of the lowest paid staff members, including footmen, housemaids, butlers, and valets. According to the insider, their low income used to be subsidized by perks written into their contracts. These included free rooms, soap and leftover wine and spirits from state banquets, but apparently this has been stopped, leaving an air of despondency among staff. The rise has reportedly given staff a lift. The Queen's income from the sovereign grant has increased in recent years and this year will be around £82 million. Female has reached out to Buckingham Palace, last night a source confirmed to The Sun that all employees would receive a 1.5% cost of living increase, with those who receive a positive performance review eligible for the additional 2.5%. The highest paid role at the palace is the keeper of the privy purse, who can reportedly take home up to £180,000 a year. They are responsible for managing the royal family's many expenses as well as keeping costs down.